Hello everyone, it's Avery Dawnside and welcome back to another video. Good morning if it's morning for you, it is for me right now. But today's vlog is going to be a bit different than you're used to. So sorry, there are quite a few bugs in here. But moving back on to what I was talking about, today's vlog is going to be a bit different than what I've traditionally done in the past. So most of my content is surrounded around my lesson program here at the DEF and my lesson horses. But I figured today you guys would like a little change of pace. And so I'm going to be doing a day in the life of my personal horse, Woody. Many of you know Woody and love him and have requested to have more content on him on my channel so I figure why not give you guys what you want and without further ado let's hop into the first section of this video which brings us to the woody cam I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip but if you aren't aware of who Woody is, I'm gonna be going over that now. So I bought Woody back in January from Marley at Marley's Farm. These are my proof of ownership. He is six years old, he's an off the track thoroughbred and I've had him for a few months now. It's been such a great journey with him. We've grown so much in the past through the winter, spring, summer, and now back to the fall. So I'm super excited to show you guys a little bit more about him. So now introducing Woodson Run's Day in My Life, also known as Woody. He gets fed outside before he's brought in because he likes to take his time to eat. We do use the Yorvik Horse Feed Company as our main supplier here at the Dawnside Equestrian Facility. And for Woody's diet specifically, in the morning he gets two full scoops of Bailey All Round Endurance Mix, one tablespoon of muscle mass supplement, and then in the PM it is different but relatively similar to what he gets in the morning. And as I was saying a bit earlier, he likes to think about eating before he actually does it. So on the Woody cam, you don't actually see him eat because there was so much footage I had to cut out. But during this time, I usually head inside to help with barn chores, but today I actually had a stable hand helping me out. So I had to make a quick call to a friend that you guys know, Ava Clearwood. I'm about to get on, what's up? Hi, okay, well firsthand, say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube, is that all you called me for? Well yes and no, you haven't been on my channel in a while so I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to give you a little moment on here even if it's through FaceTime which is fine, but I was actually calling to ask which horses you wanted turned out today while you're gone. Archie, Milo, and Kai can go out. I need the others for lessons later. I think that should be it, but if not, I'll text you. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to double check because I'm bringing Woody in for a hack and I know that they usually get turned out together, so I just wanted to double check if there is going to be any changes to the schedule, but if everything's fine, then that's all I need, and I hope you have a good ride. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Don't get eaten alive by bugs. Bye. Love you. So now that I clarified the turnout schedule with Ava, I am heading outside to grab Woody to bring him inside to get him tacked up for a hack, which you guys saw me mention earlier during the FaceTime. And Woody is really good about being brought in. He usually just hangs out in one area of the pasture, which is really nice because some other horses can be a little chaotic to catch, but Woody is pretty simple and no one ever has an issue bringing him inside, which is super duper nice. While I was grabbing stuff from the tack room, I guess my second vlog camera fell and captured these beautifully angled clips of Woody, so enjoy. 
He gets to reflect on the time that I've had Woody for. In the beginning, when I first had him, he really struggled with being tacked up. He was super fidgety in the cross sides and stuff like that, but he's gotten a lot better over the past few months. He is still fidgety when he's alone in the cross sides because he likes to have company, but once you start tacking him up, he settles down and doesn't fidget as much, which is nice. So now that we're all tacked up, we're just going to head outside to our outdoor arena since it's still warm enough to ride out there. And then we're just going to be doing a casual hack today because we have a special event which I will tell you all about later. Woody doesn't tend to puff out when you tack him up but it's always important to double check before getting on just in case. Alrighty, so we just finished our hack for the day. Typically we do work a bit harder than just doing flat, but since we do have an event later, I didn't want him to get super duper sweaty because it is relatively warm out today. But now that we've done that, we're just gonna go ahead and move out into doing a trail ride, cool down, but also explorative ride so he can get exposed to some other things outside of the arena. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into that because I know he's antsy. Isn't that right, Woody? <laughs> I hope you all can hear me over the noise of the wind and through the GoPro's tiny microphone, but Woody's not the biggest fan of large bodies of water, so we tend to stay away from the shoreline. Good boy. Canter. Good boy. Good boy, Woody. Now that we're done with our ride, I'm just going to untack Woody and I'll catch up with you all after. As I was mentioning earlier, we have a special event to get to, which isn't actually going anywhere. I just have to take some photos for a content deal that I have going on with a brand. They sent me some clothes so we can go and change. And voila, we are all dressed to go and take those photos for the brand deal that I have going on. This is kind of the backhand of being a content creator is doing brand deals and marketing. I do feel a little bit overdressed just to be walking around the Dawnside Equestrian Facility land, but it's okay. No one's really around, so I'm going to take you all to our specific photo spot, grab Woody, and meet you all out there so that I can show you a little bit of the picture taking process, even if that's not easy. This is our typical photo taking spot. We have amazing scenery here, so we like to utilize it. Make sure to check out my Instagram at Avery Dawnside for photos that you will be seeing, but I will also insert the photos from today right here.
Taking photos as a solo project is definitely not the easiest thing to do, so I do not have any actual footage of us taking photos because I was obviously using the camera to capture the pictures so that I can send them over later. So I hope you enjoyed those photos. Again, check out my Instagram for more if you are interested. But now I'm going to go and turn this boy out. I turned Woody out for his PM turnout. He is currently waiting for his best friend Archie in this, but I set up the camera in hopes that it would get some cute content, but Woody just decided to show you his best view, which in his opinion just happened to be his back end. We love him anyways, even if he's a little questionable. <laughs> but that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. It is different from my typical vlogs that I've done in the past, but I'm super excited. I had a really great time bringing you all along for the day. And if you were interested and did enjoy this content, make sure to let me know down below in the comments because I do have plenty of horses in the barn and I would love to do this perhaps following maybe a lesson horse day in the life or anything like that. Let me know if you would like to see that. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!